was spectacular. This is all over here already. It is all over! He's looking for the finish! Saucy onslaught! But he has a huge advantage in terms of punches thrown and landed. Nice shot, actually, by John Sullivan, but look who ends up in the top position. And that's because John's getting tired. He has put a lot of energy in trying to get Gegard down to the mat. It didn't work for him in the second round. And now he's got a lot of time that he's got to work right here to get himself out of this bad position. Musasi looking to perhaps secure mount on Salter instead just pops him on the ground delivering a steady diet of right hand some of them sneaking through this guard of Salter referee on top of the action. It's a championship fight but John's got to do something to stop what Gagarin's doing. The Musasi onslaught. Worst friend premise. That was an outstanding pass by Austin you're seeing he's actually taking the back but he needs to get that hook in for him to be able to maintain that position. There he's got one hook. He needs to stretch him out with that leg. Try it. It's going to be very difficult with coming over on top. He's going towards an arm triangle. And if he can get that arm in the right position, keep that knee on the belly. Keep that pressure there. And he's got an arm triangle that can work. As you saw graphically, you've been joining the conversation. Hashtag Bellator215 on all social media platforms. Trying to lock it in. He's got a lot of pressure. And he is a strong kid. So he has the ability to make this work. He can actually put him out from this position. Kind of losing it. It is all over! Austin Vanderford by submission. Gloves for Casanova, red gloves for Sinead Cavanaugh, whose teammate Charlie Ward has already earned a knockout victory tonight. And yes, fans at home, you heard an Irish crowd boo a referee because Conor McGregor went after him. Trying to finish it quickly is Cavanaugh. Oh, she's all over her already. Gonna slide into full mount. It's went from bad to worse very, very quickly. Oh my goodness. It's it is gone. over! Just like that! This whole fight could be a replay. The right hand drops her, went for a takedown, but nothing behind it at all. Just a straight blast right hand. Didn't even land that cleanly, just knocked her head back. And after that, look at the full mount. Ground and pound, nowhere to go. Two professional wins in the young career of Liam McCord. One by knockout. I don't know if a lot of people understand. Judo, if you're a brown belt or a black belt, or when you're competing in judo, it's not just throws. Sure, you can win. There it is. Beautiful job. Look at him attack with the rear naked choke. Looking for the finish right here, right now. It is it. all over. Just like that. Liam McCord by submission. He needs to be careful of that left hook that Liana keeps on throwing. And the biggest shot from Simone was also the uppercut. Yep. There. Oh, oh that, that one, one hurt him connected. He's still hurt, Mike. Yep. He's trying to gain some distance because right now he's not feeling. Everything's a little low. Oh, there's yep. a big right. It is all over. Brian Moore knocks out Simone Donna. That was hard by Brian Moore because he got rocked. You see Brian Moore land this uppercut, and things started going downhill for Deanna at this point. Tries to fight back, but then takes a huge right hand, another right hand, and it is over. Textbook boxing, it's all about the jab, and Keith Lee trying to bring it to the ground, and yet it's Nubel again attacking the neck. He attacked the neck, but there's no legs in place, but he could get this to work. Right now, turning that position is good for him. Will the clock run out? Oh, wow! Oh, wow! And Keith Lee still feeling the effects, but John, that was as close. Oh, the referee's waved it off! The referee has waved it off! But that choke is in place. It's a palm-to-palm -palm right now. 
You see Keith Lee punching right there. He's out. You see those arms. He's out. Go. He is out at that moment. The fight is over. Bell sounded a ringside physician is not going to let Keith Lee go on because he went unconscious. This much time left in the round. She may be in business and she has it. Caruso gives her back. Not a good thing for Caruso. And oh, Danny needs to press with her hips, keep her down, and just open up with uh, those big shots. I don't know if she's going to make a minute 10 of this. Not if she's Kevin not McDonald's trying to take a very close look. Because all she's doing is becoming a punch yeah, we're done. Right now. We're done. She got it. That is a really impressive thing for a young fighter.